Hello and welcome to my new video. This is a video on kit bashing or to be honest just modifying the Primera Storm Speeder. I've tried to change things that I see as little flaws with the design and try and improve it and make it a bit more interesting. So let's get into it. First part of the kit bash, I've never been bothered about magnetizing anything to get it off again, but I do want the turret to turn. So I've just got some sprue and cut it off. And there is a slight ridge on the bottom of the turret where you can glue the sprue to it. That allow it to turn and stay on. I do recommend that you be careful with the amount of glue on and you keep rotating it round for the next couple of hours to make sure it doesn't get stuck to it and no glue goes on it and it's all good. Next up, I don't want the marine in the back, so I've just got some filler, literally wall filler, covered it over. I'm sure there's other stuff you can use, but it worked pretty good. And then just a bit of sandpaper, straight over the top, and it takes it pretty flush, which is all I want for that. Something else I'm gonna change is the doors. I don't like how they're inset. It's almost like it's more cramped in there than it needs to be. It doesn't make sense for them to be inset. I also want the doors to fold down. So I might have like one door open and one door shut. I'll get rid of the step and probably put some step marks in the door itself so you'd climb onto the door and then in. So with the scalpel knife heated up, just using a lighter or you can use a hob if you want. Just helps it go through the plastic easier. I've then cut the doors out and glued them, glued one upside down. So it is like it's been hinged down. And then we get to the other side. I've left that one up, but I have pulled it out. So there's more room inside and it sits flush. And I've just gone around it with filler, just some basic craft filler and filled the step up as well. Also had to um, cut the step flush on the other side so it'd glue on. Still does need a bit of sanding, but I'll do that later. And for one of the final alterations, using the curved ends of the sprue and cutting the bits that stick out off, I've made a windscreen frame for it. I'll put line it with clear plastic when it's painted. Still got some sanding to do to take any of the nubs off, but it's looking good so far. And that brings us to the end of the modifications. I'm pretty pleased with how it's gone. The kit is really nice to make, to be honest. It's not like some of the speeders of old that were difficult and never seemed to line up. I'm happy with getting rid of the marine in the back. I think it looks better. I'm happy with the door drop down, the windscreen frame, roll bars, if you like, widening the door to the outside, making the cockpit wider. I'd like to put pauldrons on because they'll clearly fit now um, with the door set to the outside opened the Gatling gun up so it doesn't have a cover on because I think that's a better thing. But the issue I have got is I recently lost one eye and damaged the other. So painting detail, even though I can see pretty well. So for example, painting the eyes of a Marine just isn't really gonna happen anymore. So even though before, this is another kit bash that I did before, I was at least accurate with a brush. I was never the best painter, but I was accurate with it. So even though that's what I used to be able to paint as, and I have got another project that I started a while ago of a Land Raider that will have electric motors in, it's got tracks, and it's gonna be driven by sensors, so like having a machine spirit. It's learning the coding for that at the minute. So even though that's what I would do before, now I've chose to just do a very simple paint job um, using etch primer and black paint, uh, both in spray cans because I don't have an airbrush either. And just try to essentially get like a worn look out of it. I wanted etch primer because it matches the uh, low visibility coating that you get on fighter jets nowadays. And I thought that black kind of just has an ashy effect. I did also use this shade paint which I've always found pretty useful just for getting it a grimy look. I think, I think it's pretty good. Uh, to add a bit more of effect, hopefully in the future my eyesight will get a bit better so I can do detail without the hassle and I'll come back to it. 
And that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Uh, I'm gonna do some outrider modifications next, I think. Also, I do have a bigger project on, which is basically to make functioning power armor. I've got a couple of videos on the skeleton for that. If you'd like to look at those, there should be an update with the mock-up armor that's to be turned into moles up soon, which you can now see the helmet for as well. Please like and subscribe and have a good day.